Today we're going to talk to you about a band that we both love very much. Yeah, it's this band called Animal Collective, and they're just super duper. Yes, well, Animal Collective, uh, I guess we should give you a little bit of backstory on them. Uh, Animal Collective is uh, essentially four friends from Baltimore that started making music, and um... Eventually, they turned into indie rock superstars with Meriwether Post Pavilion, the record before last. So, there's a lot of expectation riding on this record. Yeah, a whole lot of expectation riding on this record. In fact, I was so freaked out about it, I quickly ran out and bought a fresh bag of weed. Yes, me too, in fact. Um, basically, the idea behind this record, as we've been told, is that it was mainly a concept album of sorts about a band from outer space who listens to the radio and decides to make music for human beings and all sorts of kind of mumbo jumbo that doesn't really make much sense. That is until you really listen to the record. Yeah, basically, uh, this band Animal Collective, uh, they're not for everybody, I would say. Uh, they definitely got their own kind of thing going on a lot of the time. Uh, they do use a lot of extensive sounds and samples and guitar sounds and drum sounds and they're all kind of psychedelical. They're all psychedelical. Yeah. Right, right, right. Um, in fact, uh, the last album, Meriwether Post Pavilion, was kind of a crossover into the mainstream uh, with all sorts of top 40 hits like Brother Sport and My Girls and... California Girls and California Pizza Kitchen. So, we kind of know what to expect from the animals at this point. Yeah, I mean, what are they going to do now? Throw us for a loop like they've been doing every fucking record that's come out? Well, yes, actually, Centipede Hertz came out and, and uh, the first listen, it didn't quite make much sense to me, did it to you? Uh, not at all, actually. I, I didn't even know I was listening to songs when I first heard it because it just seemed like a mishmash of all sorts of sounds coming in and out of my speakers and I thought maybe someone was trying to steal my car outside and so I went outside and nothing was there and there was all sorts of sounds still going on inside the house and I was so confused that I just ran out streaming into the world. Why? Yeah, I did kind of the same thing, but then I remembered it's Animal Collective, so I went out into the woods and I took a whole bunch of acid, and that's when the record really started to make sense to me. Yes, me too, in fact. Uh, only until I heavily started abusing psychedelic drugs did Animal Collective start making sense to me as well. Uh, I started to realize that these were actually songs in Centipede Hertz. And uh, not only that, but they were damn good songs. Yeah, me too. I thought that the record was really, really special. And maybe it wasn't as innovative as some of the records that they used to put out. But uh, it definitely reminded me of that one, uh, what was it, with a fruit on the cover? Uh, uh, oh, uh, Strawberry Jam. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, this record is a lot like Strawberry Jam, in fact. Um, it's more abrasive, it's uh, definitely more energetic, it's got a lot of energy, uh, which is the definition of energetic, mind you. Um, and it also just kind of doesn't really stop. It's just pummeling you in the face over and over again, like some mugger trying to rip off your grandmother and he punches her and he punches her and he kicks her on the ground. Yeah, that's pretty much what the record's like. It's like just being punched a lot with sounds and songs and animals. Yes, um, but we loved it. We, we, we loved this record, actually. Uh, we, we make, we make it sound like it's some sort of a chaotic carnival ride, which it is. But, at the same time, uh, we like ca carnivals, really. We do, we do. Yeah, I think that a lot of people are going to be divided on this record because it's just so uncompromising is the word I would use, but... At the same time, the songs are absolutely golden. They're absolutely golden. 
I mean, I can't even believe this record. Me neither. I mean, Centipede Hurts is actually a really good record. I have to admit. I, I'm, I'm, I might say that it's unrelenting, and yes. But, you know, we like that. We like Animal Collective. We like what they're doing on this record. We think it's really good. We recommend you go into the forest and take a bunch of acid. And maybe, maybe, maybe the golden god of Gaia will present himself to you and say, Good sir, you have definitely cracked the centipede egg wide open. And now you can enjoy the fruits of all that is set before you. Yeah, I agree. I think that everyone should listen to this record. It's good. It's really good. Well, there you have it. Centipede Hurt. It's a great record. Everyone should go and get it. Go! Just go!